Hi, I would like to show you how I use Omega T uh, computer edit translation software uh, to translate the materials we need for Mozilla. Uh, and uh, for this purpose, I have uh, several different projects in Omega T, and I'll have a look at verbatim project where I have several files. Here at the end is what I got today from uh, by do downloading from the site, and uh, uh, the file that I have translated is already available here. You see that some of the sentences have been already translated. Free download, uh, highest in my mother language, Slovenian, as a stone prenos. And uh, uh, let's look at the other windows that we have here. Fuzzy matches are here to show what has been already translated is possibly similar to what I would did in the unknown sentences. You see you have free download, uh, cancel download, uh, free space. Uh, you can really pick up uh, the clauses that you need uh, for the current uh, unknown sentence, not yet translated sentence. Additionally, I have Merriam-Webster plugged in to look at uh, whatever is known here, it's a uh, word free and download as well. Uh, and uh, I have then uh, also the uh, machine translation in this case uh, by Google Translate. And uh, I can uh, uh, use it for unknown sentences. And I'll go to the Next, unknown, unlo unknown sentence. This one is a little complicated. Let's uh, uh, you see that it's a pretty thick one, uh, but maybe we already have it from before. Yes, you see that this been already available before, and uh, there's some uh, uh, smaller changes. I can replace uh, the English source with the suggestion from the fuzzy match. Uh, I'll come later on to change it uh, as regards the uh, the text here, and uh, I can go then down to the next one, which is to be translated. For instance, uh, dark um, uh, color here indicates untranslated sentences, and I have here a suggestion again, again from before. Uh, in blue or green, I have an indication of differences. You see that here, uh, uh, the the old uh, tagging for the variables is used. So uh, I just accept the suggested translation, but then change this uh, to what the segment requires. Similar probably here, and I'm done. Why? because I already have previous uh, uh, translations here and I can just change the, the few little things that need to be done in a different fashion. Let's go to the next one which is a little shorter. Here I'll use uh, Google suggestion control M brings me the prescusite and I don't want to change anything here. I throw up a couple of extraneous blanks and that's how it goes on. And of course, uh, you see that uh, having translation memory means that uh, everything that I've done is available for the uh, future, and uh, this is where it should be. If we keep in mind that we have about 100,000 words to translate, and maybe there's 5,000 new, it would make sense to forget the 95,000 already done. So, have a look at uh, Omega T on SourceForge and I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you.